Welcome to Cincinnati Song Initiative's third annual Let It Be New digital concert. It's always a really wonderful time of our season to premiere the 10 commissioned songs by the composers who've taken part in this year's Composer Mentorship Program by the National Association of Teachers of Singing. I'd like to thank Alan Henderson and Nats, as well as program leaders Tom Chapulo and Lori Leitman, as well as all of the other composer mentors this year who volunteered their time working with this year's composer mentees, whose works we are about to hear. If you are so inclined and enjoy today's program, please consider a gift to Cincinnati Song Initiative to help continue propelling this program forward so that we may support emerging composers and their brand new works for years to come. Thank you very much for supporting this program by Cincinnati Song Initiative and Nats, and I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Jordan Knapp, and I wrote both the words and music for my piece titled A Difficult Situation. Um, I had kind of an unexpected concept for this piece, which I won't spoil for you here, uh, about a woman, you know, having this unpleasant experience, and it, it seemed very difficult to musicalize, so it seemed like it really required a text that would be able to stand on its own as an acting piece. Um, the music would have to support that text while also, you know, fully realizing its identity. So my mentor for this project, Stephen Mark Cohn, who also um, often writes his own text, uh, he offered really valuable support in the writing of this piece. And Sam and Madeline have given it so much attention and life in their performance. So I'm very excited for you to hear the final results of our work. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Stephen Bachicha. I wrote Time and a Lonely Coffee Shop in Winter. To understand this piece, you have to put yourself in the scene in which it is depicted. But before I get to that scene, I want to thank Nats, Lori Leitman, the Cincinnati Song Initiative for having me part of this program. I especially want to thank Stephen Eddins for his wonderful guidance during this process and creating this piece. Now, this piece, it creates a scene. It's all about understanding what's going on within the space you're in. Picture this. It's the middle of winter in somewhere like New York, Chicago, Minneapolis. It's cold and gray. The snow outside is wet, brown, and dirty from all the cars that just slosh it around. A tired man is sitting in a coffee shop, just staring out the window, just watching people. Some come in, some pass on by. The man begins.
Hello, my name is Michaela McQuestin, and I'm a composer and soprano currently based in Knoxville, Tennessee. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce my composition, Home and Still Homesick. The piece features Nicole Yackley's poem of the same name and opens with a series of rapid descending fifths to evoke the image of a waterfall. The singer protagonist recounts places, sights, and sounds that once were and are no longer, or perhaps may never have been. Eventually, they confess, I'm homesick for everywhere that almost felt like home. After this point, the flowing motives in the accompaniment turn from the passage of water to the passage of time. A tribute to places remembered, half remembered, and those only dreamed. Here's home and still homesick. I hope you enjoy.
Hi, I'm Nayla Mbeko, and I'd like to thank the National Association of Teachers of Singing and the Cincinnati Song Initiative for this wonderful mentoring and commissioning opportunity. I'd also like to thank my mentor, Kurt Erickson, for his wonderful advice and guidance throughout this process. 
The song you're about to hear is my setting of an Ella Wheeler Wilcox poem entitled Courage. This poem is about standing strong, regardless of the storms that we may face and the seasons in life. It is a reminder to us all that we are to be anchored in something greater than ourselves. The performers are countertenor Nick Kelleher and pianist Dave Mamadov. Enjoy the premiere of Courage. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Joy Sullivan and I'm a composer based both in Northern California and in Buffalo, New York. 
My song, Bride's Lament, was actually originally inspired by something that Laura Dixon Strickling said early on in the Nats mentorship process. You mentioned a need for more funny or lighthearted songs, and that really stuck with me. So as I was exploring possible ideas for the piece, I was also planning my own wedding and often surprised, dismayed, and amused at some of the things I was facing, and I took that as uh, the inspiration for this piece and also a way to explore how to take personal experience and transmute it into something hopefully beyond just my own uh, individual life. So I'd really like to thank Nkiro Okoye, my mentor, as well as Sam Martin and Madeline Jin for bringing this piece to life. And of course, a big thank you to Lori Leitman, Nass, and everyone at Cincinnati Song Initiative. Enjoy.
Hi, my name is Spicer Carr. I'm the composer and lyricist on the song here, which you are about to hear. A little bit of information about this piece. This is part of a larger song cycle also called Here. Um, the song cycle is a non-linear narrative about a young mother who has lost her son to suicide um, because he was queer, came out to her, and she disowned him. Um, the song cycle is meant to be a bit of a memory piece. There's lots of different uh, memories coming in and out of order as she grieves the pro and goes through the process of grieving her son. Um, this particular song that you are about to hear is the final number of the piece, also the title number of the piece, in which she actually goes back to the very beginning when she had her first sonogram when she was pregnant with him. And she is a nervous young mother who is anxious and is... Uh, concerned that, you know, will I even be a good mother? And she asks God to let her be a good mother because this is the first time that she has ever felt close to something or someone, this, this being that does not exist yet. And it's supposed to ironically foreshadow how their relationship falls apart. Uh, this song was written in part with the Nats composer mentorship program. I want to take this time to thank uh, the program for letting me be a part of it. And I also want to thank Tom Chapulo, my mentor during this program, who has given me invaluable advice both on this piece and uh, just being a composer in general. Enjoy!
My name is Hans Berger Harith, and I am the composer of Carrie, this next piece that you're about to hear. And in this piece, I had the privilege of setting this Billy Collins poem, where he talks about how he wants to carry this person that he loves in the same way that voices are carried across water. And I think that's a really beautiful analogy for this kind of love where both people are upheld and supported. And in this piece, I use uh, this flowing active piano part with these long lyrical sensitive legato lines in the voice to not only depict the passion and the warmth of this kind of love, but to depict the beauty of the water. I would like to thank Lori Leitman for all of her teaching and her support, as well as Alan Henderson and Sam Martin for making this collaboration possible. And I couldn't have done this without the beautiful talents of Sané and David, who are about to perform this piece for you.
My name is Kian Ravai, and my song is an arrangement of the traditional Iranian song, Mor le Sahar, which means bird of dawn in Persian. To give a little bit of background, its lyrics were composed in the early 20th century by the renowned Iranian poet, Mohammad Taqi Bahar, with a melody later composed by Mortezan Ney Davud, who was a master musician of Iranian classical music. The song didn't really gain popularity until after the 1979 Iranian Revolution, when Mohammad Reza Shajarian, a master vocalist of Iranian classical music, ended his concerts by singing this song in protest of Iran's tyrannical government. Like most Persian literature, the lyrics are deeply metaphorical, describing a caged nightingale who yearns to be free. My arrangement is a tribute to the women life freedom movement in Iran, and it's dedicated to the memory of Gina Massa Amini.
Hello everyone, my name is Sihan Om, and I'm thrilled to present my composition as part of Let It Be New by Cincinnati Song Initiative. My piece draws inspiration from T.S. Eliot's renowned poem, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. Eliot's evocative language, vivid imagery, and profound themes provided the foundation for my musical interpretation. In this composition, I explore themes of self-reflection, existential questioning, and the complexities of human experience. By starting with the soprano's voice at its highest register, I aim to capture the inner turmoil and introspection portrayed in Eliot's words. I hope that my composition resonates with you on a personal level providing a deeply meaningful listening experience. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to Lori Leitman and Keiro Okoye for their invaluable guidance and inspiration throughout this creative journey. Thank you for your support and I appreciate your time.
Hello, my name is Tyler Weekland, and I set Claire Harner's classic poem entitled Immortality. Most people recognize the poem from its first line, do not stand by my grave and weep, I am not there. The poem speaks to our human connection beyond this life on earth and how the spirits and souls of those that pass away can sometimes be felt in nature. I tried to capture the sense of immortality with the repetitive octaves in the right hand of the piano and a sense of constant spinning or weaving of life with the melodic left hand. I want to thank CSI for this wonderful opportunity and especially thank my amazing mentor, Lori Leitman, for her constant support throughout this process. I have learned so much from you and I am beyond grateful to have had your guidance and mentorship. And finally, I'd like to thank the artists who have worked so hard to bring my music to life. I really appreciate all of your effort. I hope you enjoy.
ます。